Hello friend, welcome back to the fourth session of Python web development application. So in this session we will learn how to design the web page by using the class and HTML. So let's see what will be the final output of this series. So we will design this type uh, this type of web page. You can see our login and password. So once you enter the correct login ID and the correct password and click on login. So successful page will open and it will give message that welcome Rahul you have entered the correct login and correct password and let's say uh, in another case you if you enter the wrong ID and wrong password and click on login then you can see your uh, sorry uh, then username you have entered the wrong ID and wrong password so once uh, and, you, and if you want to jump again, again to the login page you can click on this login again button so it, it again jump to the login page so this type of application we will design by using the python so first we will see the basic html tag which is used to design any web page so html tag uh, basically has uh, html start html and end html tag then uh, head start end and end, end head so between this start and end head tag you have to supply the you have to give the information about your page like this is med medical page then body start body and end body this uh, between the start body and end body you have to uh, you have to write your html code so we will see this tag one by one let's open the one html simple html page so you can see this is a simple html page and if you want to see the code of this html page right click and go to inspect then uh, you can see here each html page has uh, head, uh, html start html end html then head inside that html head started end head then body start body end body then start form and end form so inside head there is title uh, title tag so in title uh, title tag i told you uh, you have to provide some information about your html page so like this title medical page whatever you have written here medical page it will come in your uh, in your uh, medical page name here uh, when you click on the browser it will give the name here so once you change the name here let's say i will change to the rahul then you can see the rahul come here so your web page name go uh, comes with this title tag So next tag is h1. So h1 is nothing but the uh, some information you have to give the user what type of this HTML page. So this is login page. So you have to give the this login page title here. So if you want to give this title, you can use this head tag h1, this h1 start and h1 end. So h1 is nothing but the uh, uh, length of this tag. So if you give the h5 here. So you can see the size of this login page gets get reduced. So this is uh, define the size of your info information. So for greater size, you can use less number of h1. So uh, next tag is input. So input tag is nothing of nothing but if you want to take the input from user, you have to take this input tag. So input tag has uh, many parameter. So first parameter is type. So what type of input is it? It is defined using this type tag. So this is text type. So whatever you write code, uh, write name here or any information, this comes under the text. Then name user. This name user is nothing but what uh, variable we are using inside the Python uh, Python program. So we will see later what is use of this name uh, uh, name parameter. Then next one is placeholder parameter. So placeholder username. You can see this username uh, comes here the here username. So this is nothing but information you have given to user that what type of input required this HTML page. So let's say the, uh, you can change here, change here, please write name. So you can see this message come here, please, uh, please write name. So this placeholder nothing but user, uh, this placeholder nothing but uh, the message that you give on to your uh, user for this input tag then require uh, require means whatever this field 
the username or any field should not be blank so once you click login button and if there is no field then it will give message that please fill out this field so this require parameter is defined this one so next tag is br so br is nothing but if you want to divide your username and password that is two input value into separate row you can use br tag so if i remove this br tag so you can see here the login comes in the same line of uh, password and again if i remove this one also then sign up also comes inside uh, comes inside this row so this br tag basically used to take uh, any parameter into the new new row so we have seen what is h1 tag what is br tag what is input tag then next one is href tag href tag is nothing but in your web page if you want to jump to the another web page you can use this href tag href tag, uh, tag required your address of your uh, web page that you have to jump so let's say for sign up button you, are, uh, you have to jump you have to pass this ip address we will see how to you uh, how to create this address of your web page later by using the python so many main uh, basic part all our tag we have seen here so main focus uh, we did not see what is the name name parameter inside this input tag we will see later and this is a form action parameter inside this form so form is nothing but the complete uh, form is nothing but one type of box which contain all your tags okay simple way the action we will see later what is action okay so let's see the next part is uh, basic of flask so flask is nothing but a web, a web framework that is used to design any web application so let's see if you want to create a new application simple web, web application you require this flask import package all this package you require then flask is equal to name then next next you have to require this and next you have to require this one okay so uh, let's see the basic of flask uh, so this this is a simple program uh, uh, when you run this program the welcome.html page will open so first line is all the uh, packages we imported here then app we have created one app uh, variable uh, for flask package this flask has a name parameter this is a syntax which is used to create the variable for a flask next line is add the rate app dot root so this root uh, basically gives the address of your uh, uh, address of your page the address uh, page address should be uh, start with your ip address of your machine then port address then slash then your user defined name for that address so and next def this is a uh, function you have to create to open this uh, welcome.html page and to open that uh, html page uh, you have to use render template package and for that render template package you require uh, some html page so yeah, we have to first create that html page first so okay then return so once you enter the ip address 127 this with port added then slash welcome then automatically pointer comes inside this uh, root application and this welcome.html page gets open okay so this is a basic when you design any class application so let's see the folder structure that required to design the project so first one is you require main folder that is project root please uh, go with these steps only you require project root then static then again next folder you require template and login with database it is your python code then in template you require uh, template folder contain all files of your html in static folder contain all files of your css that is css file design file of your page we will see what is use of the static file okay 
so your project should require static templates and your python program code so we will open first one this one okay so this is login.html page so first page we have to open this one is login html so i told you if you want to create or if you want to open any web page by python we require app.root then slash here you can give any name and if you don't pass any name then the basic your python program start with this 127.0.1 then port address then slash as soon as you press enter this render dot template open this login dot html page so you need you require login dot html page so go to your template folder so it should have the login html page this one once you open this one you can see this is the basic html page which has html tag with title medical page login then form action now what is the importance of this form action so action parameter basically contain contain the ip address of your python code that this one is python code ip address then slash login so once you enter the username and password once you press the submit button then automatically this ip address get hits and this ip address has you can see in your code you can see in your code there is a slash login I address is present so once you click on submit button this form action gets executed and it will end it will execute slash login so you can see here slash login comes here and if you want to take data you have to re request that data by using this request package request dot form username request dot form user password this username and user password should be identical with your login html page you can see here name this name parameter this username and this password so this two variable name should be identical with username and password so once you press enter this request dot form request dot form username password gets stored into your variable username and password so this username and password get data from your html page so next line is this is a uh, flag flag is equal to zero this is variable we have declared that video variable with zero value so next is try this exception handling so if you if then there is any error this exception gets handled and uh, you can see the error that is there is some error you can this is user defined message you can give any message here okay next important part is once uh, the username and password takes the value here we are comparing that username is equal equal to rahul and user password is equal to 9922 this is static username uh, static data we are comparing in next lecture we will see how to collect the data from the mysql database so during run time this uh, it is checking our username password whatever you enter value on html page it is checking with your inbuilt database and this application will work this this uh, that will uh, that we will see in next lecture okay in this session we will simply design application which static username and static password this is your username rahul and password this once the rahul and password gets match with this if, if syntax i already told you how to use the if else and all this basic uh, syntax how to design the python uh, uh, function set python in my python web series 2 you can go to that series and please check how to use the if else you can get idea so okay okay so once the username and password is correct the flag variable is set to 1 and if it is not correct that flag variable is set to 0 and once the flag variable is equal to 1 we have to render we have to jump to the successful template so we require again successful template so inside the template there should be a successful template so once you open this one you can see there is successful template and there is welcome and there is a one variable name so this name should be identical with this name variable so this name basically take the runtime uh, name of your user and pass to this html file so if you want to pass any data from your python okay 
once there is correct username and correct password then this flag variable gets one and if flag variable is equal to equal to one we have to uh, open the successful template so to open the successful template we require in the dot template uh, uh, package and we have to pass the uh, html page name here so we require a successful template uh, page so you can see in our template file we have successful template successful html page you can see there is name and this name should be identical with this name and we are passing the name with username what uh, that we are entering during runtime uh, so once if flag is uh, zero that is our username and password not if flag is equal to zero that means your username and password is not matching with rahul and 9922 then that time we have to open the unsuccessful html page so again in template we require unsuccessful html page you can see there and this unsuccessful template has again message that comes under h1 and then this name so this name again same with this this name so this is a basic uh, workflow of our page so this is a basic workflow of your pro of your project so if you want to run project go to the cmd go to the command window cmd command prompt then type python then double colon and pass the location of your dot file dot py file that is this one so i'll copy that path So you can see here the this is complete path of your uh, python file once you cl click on enter python cannot open the file or oh, sorry there should be dot py okay once you click on the enter you can see the python application started you can see there is message running on this application http 127 this ip address so this ip address come from here you can see app run with this ip address and this port address so once you go to this ip address and port address you can see this basic application gets started so our targeted target is we have to design this web page login slash template so we have to design this type of web page so we have designed up till now we have designed this web page we have to convert this web page into this type so the uh, i have copy i have uh, you can find the template any free template from uh, internet uh, you can see this is a website i will uh, paste the address of this website into description you can see there is number of type of template you can find here so once you click on any template from this website click on download so once you click on download a button you can see there is html page and there is a css page so copy this code and uh, go to your template file then create any template uh, html page right click open and uh, paste let's paste that code here so let's see once you paste the code here the new template file will created and uh, save this file again inside this template uh, new file new template dot html so the instruction should be the dot html click on save button once you click on save button that file gets stored with html now we have to transfer all this file with our html tag go to your login dot html you can see there is html copy this one html and now paste here then again copy html end copy here with your new template you can see there is no html tag then uh, you have to copy the uh, you have to copy the style sheet so style sheet link you have to provide with this so for style sheet you require you require head tag so in html page 
go to the HTML then here you can create a head tag then head end this should be a true tag and between this you have to provide the style sheet link okay so you can see this is very important link release style sheet then type text CSS and you have to pass href url for static then your file name and there is style hmm. there is a style sheet folder name this static is nothing but your folder structure i already told you whatever the style sheet you comes under this static so this name should be identical with this then file name again the path of this style.css so style.css it comes under the style sheet there is static inside the style sheet then style so style.css open this file or create any new file and if you create new file open that file and you have to copy the code that css code copy this one from internet and paste here so once you paste here the style.css file get created and your new dot template gets created now next tire next type is you have to change the body so in simple login html page you can see there is with this body so uh, in body you have to provide this three parameter with form so copy this form and new dot template that you created you can see here there is a form and just copy here whatever your form so once you copy here or your HTML page new dot template you have successfully created your HTML page with this with this of type and then it will should work so basic idea that you have to learn with this uh, series that how to design the simple web page first then how this law, uh, python program works how to take the value that is request.form and this one all these things how to render your template that is jump to your template with your this render template then then convert your simple template into a new uh, template design template by, uh, by using the internet and then successfully you have to create created this uh, final login application so if you need any code uh, for this all this code i have uh, if you want this code i have paste all the code in the drive cold drive sheet you can download from this google drive sheet uh, link is present in the description so uh, if you like my content please subscribe my channel and click on the like button